Hi. The topic I'd like to talk about today is a recent Microsoft announcement here in September 2023 regarding the distribution of printer drivers through Windows Update. I wrote a blog about this and posted it to triceric.com slash blog. And the title is Talking Tech with Andrew Parlett, Windows Support for Third-Party Printer Drivers. And here I look at the article that was posted to Microsoft Learn called End of Servicing Plan for Third-Party Printer Drivers on Windows. And I kind of looked at some of the things that are in here in terms of the timeline, the scope, the impact. Uh, if we look down here, Microsoft does claim this is an impactful change. And so that's certainly something that we want to take a look at and as IT admins plan and consider what that means for our environment. Now I do want to initially talk about what it's not. And you scroll down through a list of uh, web searches and you see articles that were written recently in terms of Microsoft is killing third-party printer drivers in Windows 11 and Microsoft ending third-party printer driver support is good news for you and there are some good things in here I agree uh, but this is a little misleading it's not actually killing third-party printer drivers and if we look really what this timeline is is a timeline for uh, eventually phasing out what third-party manufacturers can update in their drivers. First off, not submitting any new drivers um, in terms of the older V3 and V4 model to the Windows update. Um, but then critically here, it's the ranking order modified. So this kind of all goes back to Microsoft. In fact, if we scroll up here and see uh, in uh, Windows 10 21H2, uh, they offered this new Microsoft IPP class driver, this Mopra compliant driver, uh, that's really a Microsoft written uh, printer driver that interfaces universally through IPP with Windows printers. And then manufacturers could do these printer support apps that are then delivered through the App Store. So a very different way from traditional printer drivers and how they're installed. Uh, now Windows, or Microsoft rather, uh, touts this as performance in increases, uh, security improvements. They're really saying that third-party print driver manufacturers aren't keeping up with uh, security enhancements and uh, really patching their drivers in a timely manner. Now, I'm not going to argue about this. Um, there are some real bloated drivers. There are some drivers that are old. Uh, not well supported. Uh, so, you know, I've been in the in the print driver management space for a long time. So I know there's some rough things out there. So for Microsoft to push uh, uh, an option forward to help improve the space um, as a whole is definitely a good thing. I agree. Uh, but there's some nuance in here that we look have to look at. Um, and, you know, I started by saying it's not exactly killing third party printer support. Uh, they say very clearly down here in the FAQ section, um, uh, there are no plans to disable the print feature for those legacy V3 and V4 drivers. Now, V3 and even V4 print drivers go back quite a few years now, uh, decades really. So, you know, they are, you know, to call them legacy, I think is accurate, uh, but they will still be supported on here. And... Uh, they'll still allow installation of vendor supplied printer drivers. So there's no uh, real difference in terms of what Windows supports moving forward, even after this 2027 timeline. Um, what this does mean is that when you have a laptop or a desktop and you connect to a printer over a USB or the network, what happens from uh, Windows Update and the, kind of that automated uh, driver installation process will be uh, modified to this new approach. And in the coming years, uh, that will be the default and uh, when it's done. Now, I've uh, kind of read around some, some reaction to this news. A lot of people also agree some good things. Uh, you know, printer drivers, uh, not uh, many people not a big fan. It's kind of interesting seeing how many people uh, compare this to uh, cups on Linux and Mac OS, uh, or really just citing Linux as an answer to this. Uh, I'm a fan of Linux, and there's a lot of great things for it. Um, citing it universally as an answer to this problem isn't, uh, isn't exactly a, a full scale and scope solution, uh, but, but in some cases, uh, they might be right for individual situations. I will say that 
for home users, uh, even for corporate environments where you're talking about like local computing, like I have a laptop, I'm trying to connect to a desktop printer in the office or, you know, an, an office printer. I'm using, uh, you know, the, the standard sled of office apps or web pages and printing, you know, letter or A4, kind of those common use case print scenarios. This makes a lot of sense. I'm going to get now the latest, um, you know, most recently supported driver, I think it will be um, a better situation for those kind of like home users and kind of like the standard in-office environment for local local computing. There's two main areas that we discuss in here uh, that are a little bit more of a concern. Number one is, and as you work in, especially in enterprise printing, there are some verticals especially that really have a wide array of different types of printing devices. I'm thinking of like healthcare, I'm thinking of uh, distribution and manufacturing and logistics. And these are areas where we commonly see like Zebra printers or other label printers, other types of even multifunction printers that might make use of finishing features, stapling, um, pin code printing for security sake. You know, these are all kind of advanced features, so to speak. Not necessarily advanced, but they are um, things that aren't uh, natively supported in the core set of print functions. And so as you start talking about these new IPP class drivers that are only really written by Microsoft, these are areas that might have and traditionally have had specialized use cases for the right driver for those printers to make sure that they handle the business use case necessary. The other aspect to think about is, uh, especially in the EUC environment, when we're talking about virtual desktop, when we're talking about remote desktop and remote applications, cloud desktops, and more and more applications and data coming from location not local to my device. And these are times where admins, um, and especially those kind of environments that have non-persistent desktops, meaning I just have an image, I've created that core image that has you know, the applications and whatever information for the system that, that the users need, and then a new copy of that is spun up every time that there's a login. Well, modern print management really helps in these scenarios because now you have that virtual driver that manages all aspects of, of print drivers on that image for you. And so for an admin, I can now have a print server that just has one copy, the best copy of the driver for my situation, my use case. Um, so if I have label printing or pin code printing or specific use cases that I need to, need to build in to that image, you actually manage it in the one place on the print server, or if you're uploading for like direct printing without a print server, you would still use that INF from the vendor, uh, install it like you always have into that uh, driver database. And now when users spin up these remote desktop sessions, be it in a corporate VDI or a cloud desktop, they're getting the virtual driver that is custom built to be the most effective driver in that environment. And then the print job goes and is rendered by the native driver that you've defined for that environment. So again, this modern print management, especially in these environments with, with VDI and other kind of unique application use cases and unique printing devices, this is really still where uh, nothing's changing in terms of how Windows Update is managing those drivers. You still have control over what's used um, by those drivers. A modern driver management still takes care of all the hassles of deploying drivers in those type of environments. Meanwhile, the home users, the business users that are connecting to the standard you know, office multifunction printers to print office documents, those Windows Update-driven drivers are then getting those updates as an admin, yes, you need to be aware of these changes. You need to make sure you understand how it's going to be different and the timeline in those coming years. Um, but but there is that differentiation between the different environments. So, uh, like I said, all this is contained in that blog post. Uh, so read through it. If you have questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you in terms of the um, in terms of the uh, replies to this video. And I'd love to have a conversation about how it affects you and your environment. There's going to be different admins that have different environments and use cases um, where this covers a wide range of them. It doesn't cover all of it. And so it's uh, important to think through your use cases and, and have good technical uh, and engineering fo focused conversations um, about those specific uh, environment and use cases. 
So thank you very much for joining today. Um, again, this was a blog post that hopefully we'll be getting into other topics, be it in the printing industry or uh, in enterprise technology in general. Uh, today being a big day with um, Microsoft pushing out uh, Windows Copilot. So we might take a look at AI and, and some of the impact there. Um, but hopefully this was useful for you and uh, you tune in again. Thank you.